said I'm all about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to give everybody who's listening a little bit of a gift, and it's the conversation of one of our favorite franchises, which would be The Real Housewives <laughs> of Beverly Hills. Oh, Lord. Oh, Ryan, here we, we go. Have, here okay, we go. So a little bit, for wait, wait, because I'm so used to me, talking to you. Let me get our, my, my framed Tom Girardi photo out for this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so used to talking to our YouTube community, the Adams Family and stuff like that, and they know that Jason and I used to work for Lisa Vanderpump. So we've been around The Real Housewives of Beverly yeah. Hills for a long time, but now watching, this has been one of the darkest most wild seasons to date and of course i love you know- to, i love to use the word toxic when we're talking about <laughs> real housewives of beverly hills especially this season i mean they keep getting worse and worse each year but then like we're so in it you guys like us especially like we're so in it we tear apart each moment of this thing so for us like it's toxic i imagine for like just the bystander but for us it's like we're living with sludge every day and it's building from season to season (laughs) so if you came at this season new you might be like it's kind of bad but if you Compare it to the season before and the season before that, it has been slowly building to what we're at now, which is an Aspen. And no amount of snow is going to take away the hellish fire that we're feeling from these ladies. And it, it, I tell you, like Wednesday nights, I dread now. I dread. I, I get I, anxious. You know, well, I yes, clad them every I, week. I'm like, I'm I anxious. A, I don't know I, if I want to watch this. I get a nervous tummy. I get like, and then I know I have to watch it again and again and See, take detailed notes. Brian also and doesn't drink. Be- I need a glass of champagne to get through this. Yeah. Oh, well, no, 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 no. I, I drink. No, I oh, drink. I just drink? don't, I, I don't drink during the show. Like I oh. used to, no, Adam, I used to, last season, I would recap Beverly Hills and I would, I would have to drink. Like I would have to drink at like the era when it was like the Erica Jane, like, Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? You yeah, know, like what? all of that stuff I would have to drink and I would get hammered during, by the end of the recap, I would be hammered because I would be so infuriated because I'm all about like, I want things to be fair and nothing is fair. The way they gang up, especially in Beverly Hills is so wild to me. And we're, we're seeing that again this season. And now What's worse about Beverly Hills, everybody listening, you guys feel this, is the show now is behind the scenes, not on the actual show. It's Lisa has 100%. been campaigning. She has been campaigning for nine months or whenever Aspen was filmed. We have heard since that weekend. Let me take you back to that weekend. Also, the weekend that we came back and the earrings were a big part of the conversation. Rinna from that day and other people started talking then. So we have had to listen to this up until the moment we're at now. And now it's like we heard so much about it that the actual show part of it leaves you with an exhaustion that you normally wouldn't feel. But we've been living with this story over and over again. And I keep saying to my audience is that, is Lisa a reliable narrator? I always talk about reliable narrators. Who can you trust when they tell a story? Right. Like you guys- she said. But I'm saying like, but like, think about it. People come to you guys on YouTube and all that. They trust you. There's a trust by the audience. They know you're not going to lie to them. They know you're going to tell your truth. Um, But Lisa, unfortunately, is not a reliable narrator. We've Mm. seen her lie time and time again. We've seen her throw, quote unquote, friends underneath the bus. So here's the question. We're getting to these episodes. Is Lisa Rinna a reliable narrator? It all, I feel, personally hinges on that. So what we what she says in these episodes, do we believe her? It was just her and Kathy in a sprinter van. And the other thing, remember, two things can be true at once. Kathy Hilton can sometimes probably be a jerk and a real awful mean person. So can I. Also, you know, like also we've seen now they wouldn't drink her tequila. They wouldn't do this. They wouldn't do that. I would probably like it, it was I such was a watching, build up. Yeah. I mean, so it might fall flat on its face. Like, I don't like, I'm curious really to see. And also why didn't Lee, if Lisa saw a tantrum, Lisa strikes me as the person who is savvy enough and is already forward thinking enough for reunions about receipts of, Hey, why don't I just hit record on my phone and I'll get some audio just in case I need it. 
And also, aren't those Sprinter vans equipped with cameras at all times? Yes. And then my question here to add to this is, you know, I, I know that there's memes going wild right now with it's so funny and convenient that it's Lisa Rinna who was the one who decided, let me <laughs> jump in the Sprinter van it, with you. Yeah, after, after I've given you shit all night about your tequila. And right. not only that, isn't there, <laughs> isn't there time between when they're filming this to confessionals where you could actually think of this Oh, yes. Storyline. Oh, yeah. yeah. What you're going to say and create a whole nother narrative that, you know, Some of the we've been building up for this Aspen thing for forever. Wait, why is Lisa also the one that goes away with the angry person? Remember two episodes? She was like, Erica, Erica, let's go. Let's go, Erica. When Erica was like flipping out, she right. grabbed Erica and let, it's like, it's time to go. And now she's the one that takes Kathy. Like, I don't understand why Rinna is always the person. It's almost like, I mean, from what? I know about editing and I know about the show, but if you watch the show, it's almost like Rinna wants those moments. She wants to be the one that hears all the drama. You know, I also have a conspiracy here too, because I think, <laughs> you know, we see other shows like the real housewives <laughs> of New Jersey. And when we get newbies, they try to go in after, you know, Teresa Judai, Salt Lake city this season, the newbies are going to go in on Jen Shaw. Then we had Noella Bergner, who got herself fired, who tried to take down Heather Debro, right? So we see this. And Kathy Hilton, I don't think at any point she's ever said, I'm Queen B. But I think that last season, she came in as a real fan favorite. And she did the least amount of work. She just said some quirky things. And then well, she's this- not a housewife, remember? She's not an official housewife. Right. She's a friend of, right? And then this She's not season, on the posters. She gets to... She gets to kind of chill. She took half the season off to focus on her daughter. Then she shows up. I'm sure she's getting paid good money, right? (laughs) And I think that Lisa Rinna's idea is, I'm going to take this woman down. Like, I I have a storyline, and it's going to take this woman down because, well, that'll keep me around. But it's gotten so toxic. I mean, you're slamming her as a homophobic, narcissistic racist on social media. Yeah, that's the thing is that supposedly she said a gay slur to a DJ. But now I'm hearing it's... Like now Rena's changed even that. And now it's she was going off in a sprinter van and the hatred she had towards Kyle is the big thing, right? You didn't even remember saying that Kim Richards was close to death when that is such a strong statement to make to, about someone who is dealing with sobriety issues. So you also didn't mind taking one of your good friends of over 20 years and trying to out an alleged affair, which, you know, whether you think Denise Richards hooked up with Brandy or not, I don't even want to get into that. She probably did. I mean, I don't care. But the thing is, that's not her place, potentially, you know? Right. I mean, listen, when when people start comparing you, like, because I have seen comparisons on Twitter and like that is a whole nother rabbit hole that we don't even have to talk about. But when people are like comparing you to Patrick Summers at this point with how fast your stories have changed, I mean, this is... I, I I want to see what kind of conclusion we're going to get from this. Exactly. Well, also, I, Rinna in her, you know, like that 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 text message, like I've never seen such hatred. I've never seen such an outburst. I'm like, were you at your own Rinna Rose party six episodes ago when you're like, I'll cut you down? Remember when she? I mean, screaming at full voice at her own house. Like you've never seen rage like that. I was like, I've seen it from you all season long. And of course we chalk it up to grief. Well, maybe Kathy's grieving. Maybe Kathy's grieving that nobody wants to drink her Casa del Sol. Maybe Kathy is, I mean, also what you had said, Jason earlier is so true is that she didn't film the first half of the season. So if you look at this from all angles and (laughs) this is what I spent my time doing, Kathy's (laughs) coming in there already, like you said, a fan favorite, these ladies you know, I don't consider this like, you know, like roll up your sleeves, get yourself dirty work. This is filming for a TV show, but they've already filmed half the season. So Kathy wanders in, starts trying to push her tequila. These ladies are like, I worked all season. You just show up right now and you're going to push your product. Erica's like, I got hair extensions to sell. You know, like all of this (laughs) stuff. Of course, they're already mad at Kathy. Of course, they're they already. Her. So they, I mean, like, that's what I'm saying. Lisa was like, no, F that. This is my show, and you aren't going to do that. And I think just Lisa is usually so calculated. I just don't think she counted on how much ill will she has towards her built up from the last two seasons. I, I also don't understand how Lisa can complain about someone uh, promoting their product when we've had three <laughs> parties for two for what Risa uh, sorry Risa two parties for uh, Lisa Rena Lips Beauty. or Rena Beauty Red Rena, Rena Beauty Lisa. and one, Rena Rose one yeah. party which had no product at it no product <laughs> <laughs> right and then 
Rena Rosé, which it wasn't a product yet. It's still in testing or whatever. We're still trying to figure out the brew. 